What's up Gabsters, welcome back to my channel and if you're new here, my name is Gabor Nashon and I do different kinds of content from photography, uh, videography, travel, lifestyle, vlogs, and camera, gear reviews, and unboxing videos just like this one. So if you're new here, consider subscribing using the subscribe button below. But don't forget to hit that notification bell so that you will be notified for my new uploads. Before I start this video, I just want to give a huge shout out to the Solid Pastelans group. Um, they are yung audience or fans and subscribers ni Pasty uh, which is my friend who is a Funko Pop collector so currently kasi may ginagawa kaming giveaway ni Pasty and I will link down the mechanics below para makasali kayo if you are interested in things such as this one yung mga Funko Pops uh, yun yung currently kinahihiligan namin i-collect ni Pasty and shout out sa mga solid pastelans dyan and thank you guys for subscribing and supporting my channel so Yon. For today's video, I will be showing you isa na naman sa mga napanalunan natin um, this previous year. Uh, actually, yung contest na to is held uh, back in December sa group na sinalihan ko which is yung Sony, Mi Sony Mirrorless Users Group or Smug PH. Uh, shout out sa mga members ng Smug PH and they collaborated with a brand called Cinco. So Cinco is a microphone company in China na started 2017 and yun, they collaborated with a group para magpag-giveaway ng iba-iba nilang mics and I'm fortunate to be one of their winners and ito siya actually this is the Cinco W Mic T1 so this is a wireless microphone system na gawa ng Cinco and I'm fortunate enough to <laughs> win this one so I'm really excited to uh, show you guys what's inside the box give you guys my opinion on what I think the performance of this microphone is and yeah so basically this will be an unboxing video and a review video all in one so if you're interested to see that uh, please keep on watching and yeah so I will break this down into three parts so first first part is your unboxing second is your quick specs and third is the range and field test. So for the field test, I'm actually gonna collaborate with one of my YouTuber friends. His name is Sami Ame and uh, we will do some sort of uh, social experiment kind of content. We will link it down below once na ma-out na yung video na yun. So I hope you guys also support that video and check out my friend's channel. Uh, I will link his channel down below. And Yun, uh, so we will do the tests on the field and I will give you my thoughts then but you guys will ultimately decide uh, what you think about the performance of the Cinco W Mic T1. So without further ado, let's get started. The Cinco W Mic T1 is one of their wireless microphone systems that cost $129 and it can be bought from the official distributor here in the Philippines which is Shiesta PH. Links to their pages are in the description box as well. So as you can see, it has a nice packaging. In the front, you see the photos of the units. At the sides, you see barcodes and also a quick list of features of the Cinco W Mic T1. At the back, you also see the contents of the package as well as some technical specifications of the wireless microphone system. You may check out the full technical details from the links in the description. Inside the package are the following. Carrying case which is a nice touch. The wireless transmitter and receiver units. The lavalier mic. A 3.5mm TRS output cable. A 3.5mm TRRS output cable the belt clips which are already installed in the units, and the cold shoe adapter for mounting the receiver in your camera. So now let's go to the quick specs. The Cinco W Mic T1 has the following specifications and features. First, it has a super tiny body and weighing only 1.9 ounce. It is very portable for outdoor audio recording and video shooting. Second, it uses the UHF wireless technology with a max range of 50 meters distance. Third, you can monitor the audio real-time with the audio receiver's 3.5 mm jack. Fourth, it also uses DSP or the Digital Signal Processing Technology which helps minimize signal noise in wireless transmission systems. 
Lastly, it is compatible with smartphones, DSLR cameras, mirrorless cameras, camcorders, recorders, and even personal computers through the cables provided in the package. So for the first field test, I will show you what Sami, Ami, and I have done. Uh, we were in BGC to shoot uh, a social experiment video, and he is wearing the WMIC T1 transmitter with the lavalier microphone included, and it is placed in the center of his chest under his shirt. And uh, in this clip, uh, we will do just a quick range test. So I will play the full clip and you guys decide uh, on what you think about the performance of the Cinco W Mic T1. So, let's get started. Hello, naririnig mo pa ba ako? Sound check. <laughs> sound check, sound check. Sound check. Wala pa bang 50 meters? Wala pa. Goods pa. Rinig pa rin ako. Dito. Rinig pa ako. Meron pa din. Eh, dito. Meron pa din. Feeling ko... Narinig ko. Extra mic. Talaga akong may putong sa gitna. Ano, meron pa ba? Rinig pa din. Dito pala, maraming nakatambay. na ako, malayo na masyado. <laughs> Ibig sabihin, sobrang layo. Ang layo nun. Pero, kita, ang, ang tanong, kita pa ba ako sa, ano, sa camera? <laughs> Pag ganun kalayo. Abot pa ba? Wala tayong problema. At kung ano na lang, kung makikita pa ba ako sa, ano, Ha? Malayo, no? Parang lampas 50 meters na yun, hindi ba? Alam mo yung... Alam mo. <laughs> Dito na lang ako magsisip. Dito. Wait lang, ha? Yung notes ko. <laughs> ko nagre-record pa rin. Ayun, nagre-record pa rin siya. Goods na audio. Naka-record ka na rin dyan. On your cue. Game na ba? Cue mo ako. Game na ba? <laughs> game na ba? Uy, game na ba? Mag-cartwheel ka kung game na. If you're new here in this, we appreciate it. Sure. 
ano, link here or here, hindi ko pa rin alam hanggang ngayon. Or link in the description. Ako hindi pa. So, maghanap na tayo. <laughs> hindi. <laughs> Naghahanap lang ako ng hagdan. Saan tayo? Saan tayo maghanap? Okay, so this is what's gonna happen. I will uh, record using my camera. And I will do a quick sort of test inside my house. And currently, it's... Uh, in the middle of my room and I've measured earlier what's the distance between my camera and the place that I will go to and it's about 21 meters so let's test um, I'm using the lav mic here so uh, this phone footage is this one uh, will be uh, just proof or additional footage or vantage point where I'm gonna go just so you guys know that I've actually went there. So I'll first go to the first five meters away from the camera. So this is a mic test, uh, five meters away from the camera with a wall, obstacle in between. Mic test, mic test, one, two, three, testing man, one, two, three. Testing one, two, three, testing one, two, three. Moving towards 15 meters <laughs> so this is a mic test of the Cinco W mic T1 testing 1, 2, 3 testing 1, 2, 3 this is a mic test for the W mic T1 15 meters away from the camera and yeah testing 1, 2, 3 testing 1, 2, 3 so now moving towards 21 meters So this is a mic test, W mic, uh, 21 meters away from the camera. There are two wall obstacles in between. Uh, testing one, two, three, testing one, two, three. <clears throat> testing one, two, three, testing one, two, three. Testing one, two, three, testing one, two, three. So that was our field test. If you've seen from the video, there are three tests, the range test, the actual shoot test, and the quick test that I've done here in my home. Here are my thoughts. First, as you've seen in the tests, uh, there are some signal cutoffs that are happening during the shoot. So I'm not really sure what caused these signal losses. Um, I'm sure we are within the range. Although, of course, there are times that he, he goes way further than the range of this microphone and also there might be some interferences around the area because BGC is quite a dense populated area uh, there are a lot of establishments offices that have Wi-Fi in the area and also the personal hotspots of the people walking by and uh, enjoying themselves in BGC and those are some factors that can really affect the signals of a wireless microphone system just like this one but still I'm not really sure why it gets cut off even if there we are just a few feet apart if you've seen some of the tests there are instances where we are just about five feet from each other or ten feet from each other and the signal still uh, cuts off there are no obstacles and also he's not touching the mic or anything he he also got the transmitter very well secured on his in his belt so I'm not really sure what happened with this uh, experiment so that is why I included that clip those clips because that's the that's the reality and what happened during the shoot so I hope the Cinco guys are watching this video and hopefully they can improve on this or maybe tell me why this happened uh, I just want to understand because of the second point that I'll be talking about later uh, the second point um, actually uh, for the sound profile of this W mic T1 I'm really quite impressed so for those audio that have been recorded um, I've listened to it carefully and for me uh, for its price point um, it's really a good alternative a good budget 
wireless microphone system that you can purchase today. Uh, the sound profile is really balanced. It's very near the mid tones, but it's also quite just a little bit up in the bass area. So it's not that uh, it's not that super bassy, but it's just the right amount of bass and the treble. It's, it doesn't sound quite metallic. It's really a good sounding audio that came from the Cinco WMIT1. Would I be recommending this to you guys? Uh, my answer is yes. Um, if you are looking for a budget wireless microphone system, um, this is one of the brands that you can actually rely on. So that 50 meter range, the technology that it has, it's really a good audio system to have for your videos. Uh, this is good for vlogging, for YouTube videos, for interviews, or anything really that can be shot within that 50 meter range. For the audio monitoring, I really hope that they've included a different 3.5 millimeter output jack for the headphones or any earphones that we can use to monitor the audio real time. Um, because when you try to monitor through the receiver, you have to take out the cable that will be connected to your camera or other recorder. So you can only check the audio while you are connected to the to the output jack so it's not if you're already recording you cannot monitor the audio that is coming from the receiver so i i really hope that they include in the next iteration the next version of this one to have a separate microphone jack for audio monitoring so that's just a new one or just my personal opinion so if you guys have this microphone let me know what you guys want to actually see in the next iteration the next version or maybe other versions of the uh, microphones that Cinco will push out they are actually a very very promising product and a company and I'm really excited to try other Cinco microphones if you guys are looking for a budget alternative or a budget wireless microphone system you may consider the Cinco W Mic T1. So that is the end of this video. If you guys want to see more videos like this, please consider subscribing using the subscribe button below. Don't forget to leave it a thumbs up and don't forget to hit that notification bell so that you will be notified of my future uploads. Thank you guys for watching this video and see you guys in the next one. Bye.